Hey everyone, uh, my name is Bhavya Sachdeva and I am a Cube Simplify Ambassador. I welcome you all to the Cube Simplify DevOps series and in this video we are going to discuss about what is DevOps, what are the challenges faced by the organizations, how DevOps came into the existence and why we need to use DevOps, uh, what is agile methodology and what are the various DevOps tools and at last but not the least, what are the different job roles in this domain. So before starting the video, uh, I want to tell you about the software development cycle which means there are various steps involved in the building of any application or any software. So let's, let's not directly jump into this topic. Before jumping into this topic, I want to tell you uh, just example. You want to build a website uh, of any NGO. Okay. So there are some steps you need to take before writing any code. Like writing code is not the initial step of any website. You need to plan. You need to did analysis like some extracting the some elements you need to design the website like how it looks like then you need to implement implementation means then you need to write the code and uh, with writing code the work is not finished then you need to test it then you need to integrate it uh, means uh, uh, how the website looks on different devices okay it means it comes under the testing and integration then you need to maintain maintain and maintain so this is the software development cycle. So now let's see, we just take an example of an NGO website, which will be not that as much broader level, which is just a simple static website. But if we will talk about uh, products, software products, then it takes too much planning. It takes too much analysis. It takes uh, like design is also not a single one web page or two web page. It consists of many web pages implementation is also not that much easy so for this reason there are two departments in any organizations to perform all these steps uh, let's discuss about these two departments so before discussing about these two departments i want to tell you a basic real life example just example your mother uh, told you that bring this material from the market okay so what is your end goal or uh, like what your mother wants from you she wants that product yes according to her requirement in similar manner the end goal of any organization is to quickly deliver the product and also your mother wants that product in a limited time span because she gives you money to buy that product in the similar manner customer gives money to organization for their product for their application and they want this product with their requirements and in a limited time frame or we can say they want their a product quickly so for doing these things there are two departments one is development department dev team we can say and the other one is operation so we will jump into the challenge but let's see now the roles of these two departments the roles are development team as it to, as from its name it all refers to that development team is involving with the writing code creating features and they are involved with the development of the website like testing building new features and so on and the operation team don't know or don't that much have knowledge about the code base but operation team is involved with the deployment part maintaining the traffic of the website maintaining the security so like this creates some bridge line between two uh, these two departments because development team only knows their work and operation team only knows their work so this creates a gap in between two teams and if it creates a gap so it definitely delay the release of any product and if there is any delay in the releasement of the product then customer also have to wait.
for this reason devops came into the picture now let's see what is devops so devops is a combination of tools and cultural practices they, this is not about just you have le to learn some tools and you are done with devops no it is more over a mindset uh, on the in the next slides we will see about the different devops tools it mainly emphasizes teamwork communication and collaboration means devops is more over focused with how development team and operation teams work together as you saw the name of devops it is the intersection of development for dev and operation for ops so which com with the combination of these two teams uh, the name is made devops so in order to increase or enhance the security in order to speed up the processes devops is used it is used to ensure the quality testing just example i did some manually testing on my uh, project or on my application i just made a simple application and i did some manual testing and it works fine but when i will deploy my application then it will it will create some bug so if i use any good devops tool for ensuring all these things so i never face a bug in production site so this is all about devops it gives or it makes the uh, processes automatically which means the use of data center automation increased means with the help of devops manual work will decrease and automation will increase so this is all about devops and now let's see why we use devops in order to make development and operation team work together we use devops and development teams work with operation to understand the impact of code changes because some code definitely change in the production site and they give some bugs and errors and operation team also needs to understand the code base uh, devops helps in order to create better collaboration and communication it helps in for the automation on the deployment site just example if every time i make some changes in my code and if i used a devops tool which supports continuous integration with continuous delivery which means if i change something in my code it automatically get deployed in the production site so this means the more automation on the deployment side now let's discuss about the agile methodology agile methodology means uh, like you see uh, this uh, is a loop like design build test deploy again design build test deploy so this is a loop in which goes and goes and go goes in similar manner our software application works sometimes what happened we need to update the design of the website sometimes it happens we need to refactor the whole code which comes under the build this is all about agile where you can change in any step of the building software just example if you wants to change something in build you are allowed or you can able to change Uh, your code it's not like that uh, you have to change the design or you have you are not allowed to change the build or you are not allowed to change the refactoring of the code which happens earlier in waterfall model so in waterfall model uh, cust according to customer requirements organization needs to change or do some wants to do some refactoring then they must have to refactor the code from starting but in agile at every step you can change at every step you can update and at every step you can test and with this testing you can deploy in every step just example you you make some design just a small portion of design then you build or then you write code for this small portion then you test that small portion and then you deploy it again you make design for web page 2 then you build it then you test it then you deploy it so this is whole about the agile methodology on this devops is based as you can see uh, the logo of devops is also in the infinite loop which means the whole process or the whole cycle of development goes 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 like whole cycle of development and operations which is the combination and which we refer as devops is goes 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 this is all about the agile uh, so now let's discuss about some of the various devops tool which are github 
docker kubernetes you can learn about cloud there are different cloud aws azure sivo gcp and so many others uh, you can learn about jenkins these are various devops tool which you can use or which you can learn from the from the various resources i will share the siam's roadmap uh, where you will find many resources for learning about different devops tools uh, which will be perfect roadmap i can say for learning about the devops and uh, as this is just the introductory series of devops so from one by one as video videos are coming you will definitely give a overview about all these devops tools and now let's come to different job roles in this domain uh, some of our sre that is site reliability engineer uh, you can apply for devops engineer uh, you can apply for as a release manager uh, you can apply as a developer advocate which is a very trendy role nowadays you can apply for kubernetes engineer and apart from these roles uh you can apply or you can write technical blogs which will definitely helps you to enhance your technical writing skills and uh, start your journey in the technical as a technical writer so you can also share your blogs on the cube simplify hash node and you can join cube simplify discord you can follow us on twitter linkedin and uh, there are various workshops going on you can also attend those workshop and learn about various things and apart from this if you like this video make sure to hit like subscribe and share as much as you can and i hope you like this so thank you and bye bye